Kathy, great to be with you today. It's so great to have you here with us, Morgan. Thank you for joining us. I, this is a, it's a major milestone. Um, and I realize it's a highly classified program and very, it's been very secretive up until now, but what can you share about what we're gonna see at the unveiling tonight and how it speaks to the capabilities of this sixth generation aircraft? Well, the B-21 Raider is a long-range strike aircraft, and what that means is it has the range to go anywhere in the world and har uh, keep a target at risk. It also is a platform, though, that is low observable, and that means it can enter enemy airspace and not be detected. So those are some of the attributes of the B-21 that make it special, and that's about the aircraft itself. But also inside the aircraft, it has the ability to connect with other platforms and really provide the U.S. and our allies and information advantage interesting so so basically it's a it's a computer in the air is it what you're is. telling me that's exactly right uh, what's what's pretty incredible about this highly complicated highly complex program what we typically see unfortunately is that when programs of this size uh, go through development they tend to come over budget they tend to be delayed that has not been the case with b21 so far you're on schedule how have you been able to pull that off We've been using digital engineering from the beginning of this program to help us iterate on thousands of designs and then translate those into the platform that the world will see tonight. And we are so proud of what our team working alongside in a very transparent way with the Air Force have been able to do differently in the acquisition program for the B-21 Raider. So there's there's several layers so far to the contracting process around this program. There was the, the, the contracts around development. Uh, now poised to with this first flight, which I believe is for early next year, scheduled for early next year, right? Uh, you're going to start to see those early production rates uh, for the first several dozen planes. Fixed price contract. We've seen estimates that go back a, a number of years now that that's going to be $550 million per plane, but we know inflation will play a role in all of this. What do you expect uh, that flyaway cost for the plane to be, the aircraft to be now, and can you make money on it? Well, the Air Force is continuing to update the cost of the aircraft and the target for us. And as you noted, back in 2010, that was $550 million per aircraft. That's up to nearly $700 million based on inflation, as you noted. And so we see the value creation for Northrop, Northrop Grumman as still very much ahead of us as we move into this production phase. The Air Force is talking about building at least 100 aircraft. And uh, how many are under production right now? We have six okay. in production right here in Palmdale. Okay. Um, so when we talk about the B-21, it's, it's one of several major programs that Northrop Grumman has right now. The reason that analysts expect this company to grow and be the fastest growing defense prime over the coming decade. Also, I think a reason why you are forecasting top line growth next year when many other defense primes are not. I guess speak to us about how you are able to grow in this environment. Is it that supply chain issues are easing or that you are growing in spite of them? We are growing in spite of supply chain challenges. We've talked about those continuing to uh, create challenges well into 2023. But I also spoke when we were together last year about labor, and mm -hmm. I'm pleased to say that we're starting to see labor turn the corner. So we're optimistic about 2023 and our ability to grow faster than we did in 2022, and we've guided to, to that. And I would also say, Morgan, that we differentiate as a technology company. And so the way we're winning work and being successful on programs like the B-21 Raider is because our people are incredibly innovative and our talent is creating the ideas that solve our customers' hardest problems.